traditional rules of procedure. I One of the world's most open, free, fair, and transparent elections, which took place in Cote d'Ivoire on 28th November 2010, has been the object of a forfeit by the greed of the outgoing president, Mr. Laurent Gbagbo. Thus, an utterly unnecessary post-electoral crisis erupted and lasted more than four months. Now, with the taking into custody of Mr. Gbagbo on 11th April by pro watara forces, we witness the end of a chapter in the history of Côte d'Ivoire. Despite the arrest of Laurent Gbagbo, the humanitarian situation in Côte d'Ivoire remains deeply troubling. The crisis that followed elections last November and the escalation we have seen in the last few weeks has had far-reaching humanitarian consequences for ordinary people throughout Côte d'Ivoire and its neighboring countries. These effects will not subside without a significant and sustained effort from the humanitarian community and the combined efforts of the broader UN system in Côte d'Ivoire contributing to stabilization and reconciliation. As President Ouattara is now effectively taking power in Côte d'Ivoire, it is of utmost importance that in the transition, all necessary measures be taken to prevent any security vacuum or acts of retaliation. Law and order should be restored as soon as possible in Abidjan, including by collection of weapons that are all too readily available in the city. Des allégations graves de violation des droits de l'homme ont été signalées dans ces régions de l'ouest de la Côte d'Ivoire, mettant notamment en cause une implication des forces républicaines de Côte d'Ivoire. Ma délégation exprime sa profonde préoccupation face à ces allégations et souhaite que toute la lumière soit faite sur les dix événements dans le cadre des enquêtes, d'investigations et des procédures judiciaires appropriées, y compris internationales. Aucun crime ne saurait demeurer impuni. We have been informed that uh, former President Gbagbo has been transferred uh, in the last uh, uh, hour to uh, a presidential res residency in the north of the country, that his integrity is very well, well taken care of. And um, concerning the f further procedures, is yet too early.